So far we've worked with one single source file in our current pane and added several different settings to it. But now let's look at adding several source files all at once into what is called our batch job. With a single file already imported and a settings preset assigned to it, I'll go to the file menu and select import file or use command I. I'll assign a setting preset to it. Now I have two source files with settings assigned to them. The two together make up my batch job. Each independently are encoding jobs, but together they are a batch job. Selecting either job allows me to access its settings in the inspector. Selecting any of the settings assigned to either job allows me access to those specific settings in the inspector. But selecting a gray area in between them brings up the batch job information in the inspector. I can assign the batch a unique name. Why would I name a batch? Because I can submit this for processing, and while it is processing, set up another batch, submit that one, and have several batch jobs processing at once in the active pane, or have them listed in the completed pane. So a unique, clearly descriptive name is important to assign to a batch job. The inspector can also show me the total number of individual jobs plus the number of settings assigned to all those jobs together. This can give me a pretty quick ballpark view of what I'm about to submit. Thus, I can make quick decisions about how long it may take and what network settings I should use. Network settings are something we'll cover later in the course. So I can have multiple source files in a batch. Each individual source file can have multiple settings applied to them. Now, I hope you can begin to see just how powerful Compressor can really be.